Got a new digital microscope to check out. This is a 7-inch digital microscope with full 1080 recording capabilities. The model is a DM9 and it's made by Mustool. This one came from Banggood. We're going to throw this one together, check it out, see what it can see, and I'll even try to practice some soldering on a scrap board just to give you an idea of what the picture quality is like and what you can expect out of a unit of this cost. Let's check it out. I received the package in the mail. It had a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is this uh, digital microscope from Mustool. I already got a digital microscope. I wonder how much different this one is. I got a couple of them. Actually, I have one now, I think, because I've gotten rid of a few. It comes with a CD. Who even has a CD drive anymore? I do. Hmm. Little mini CD. Do not put in direct sunlight. Gee, I wonder why. This must be firmware or something for it. Here's the unit itself. It's got an HDMI out. You can put it onto your TV. Hmm, we'll have to try that. And put a card in to record. Cameras down here. Focus control. Let's uh, see what else is in here. Looks like there's some other equipment. What is that? That's a light diffuser. We're going to get into that in a minute. Just get all the tools out, get all the pieces out here. We'll put this thing together, read the instructions, and try it out. Looks like it's got a battery for the lights. Basically. Ah, the lights have a, a battery that powers them. Not very bright. I guess they're bright enough for what it's needed. So you can illuminate what you are looking at. See what else we've got in here. It comes with a HDMI cable. It also comes with um, a mounting bracket. I guess we'll screw this into the base. Somehow this screws in here. Try not to cross thread it. And then tighten down the retaining nut. It's got to be a screw for the back of this to stop it from spinning, and there is. This is to adjust the height and lock it in. No, it's not. Where's the screw that holds that? See, this fits into here. That's pretty obvious. Okay, I think I figured it out. There's a little nylon piece up here that this slides up and down, and that's what that screws into. So we'll just we'll just raise up the unit and screw the adjustment screw into the back here. And basically, what that does is that there's a nylon piece, as you can see here. If I lower this down, it's a nylon little piece in here that actually will move up and down. And when you tighten this in, it tightens it up stop it that is what this screws into I was looking and I saying why the heck is there no like no place to thread it into and then it looked oh it was stuck inside the uh, piece here so that goes on like this gotta get it thread in correctly there well, that's better now it'll hold it in place okay now we can utilize the unit and uh, try it out and see what we can see I can uh, see my finger, no problem. So it's not bad. The quality is not bad. I'll have to throw an SD card in here. We'll do some recording and uh, look at some small stuff. I happen to have a, I think I've still got it here. Yeah, I happen to have a little, uh, I think this is a CCD from a camera. And we can look at this. This will be kind of interesting. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And then there's a light in here as well that I can turn on and off. That's built in. And there's also these other lights that can uh, be illuminating from a different angle. So let me go grab an SD card and we'll throw an SD card in this thing and um, do some recording.
and we'll see how the picture looks off this little uh, microscope from Must Tool. What this is for is this is a light diffuser because the lights built in are quite directional. I can pull this cover off, it protects the, um, the lens and so forth. You can, uh, there's LEDs under here as well. We can put this other microscope hood on and this clips on like that. And that now gives us a, a diffused light source. So if we're looking at things like something reflective like this chip, for example, I can certainly adjust my focus here. I can lower the camera down a bit and uh, maybe not see as much reflection from the lights inside here. and I see the reflection of the unit itself, but that's a little better. It's not bad, I can see all the bonding wires. I'll do a recording of this and show you guys what the picture looks like. And of course we can also turn on the external lights. Light it from another angle as well. So the external lights are for is for lighting from a different angle. But um, certainly this diffuser eliminates a lot of the uh, reflection that you get from the direct LEDs, as you can see, they are reflecting right onto the, the lens. So that's what this is for. You can snap this on and it has a space for the light to shine through around here. As you can see there's an opening here. The light can shine through there, reflects on a mirrored surface on the bottom of here and then around this outside ring. So this eliminate and then the lens of course fits through the center. So that eliminates the glare from the LEDs when you're looking at reflective, highly reflective surfaces such as we see here looking at this chip. We're seeing reflections from the lights here. Okay, I've got a uh, an SD card in it now. I know if I, I got on the remote control if I press the snapshot button, it will take a snapshot. So we'll just uh, do that and take a snapshot. Uh, it's two megapixels. Let's see if we can set that up. Resolution. Here we go. 16 megapixels. Okay. Burst shooting is off. Image quality is in standard. Put it in high quality. If I want to record video, press the video button. Oh, it changed the, it changed the field of view to do that as well. But now I can record video and this is this is as close as I can get it. This is as low as the camera goes as far as zooming in because there's no zoom lens on here. It's done by adjusting where the camera is. So you take it up to the height you want, you lock it in, and then you focus. If you want to get in close, you actually have to physically bring the microscope down and then focus. Now what these units are actually pretty good at looking at is the stylus on a record or even the grooves in a record. I'm just using the the lighting that's built in. This is the overhead lighting. I can turn them off or dim them down and I am recording this. No I'm not. Uh, now I am. I'm recording this now on the SD card. 
so we can look at the actual quality of the recording. I can adjust the light level. I can also turn on the alternate lighting, which are the controls on the back, which are also variable down, I guess, sort of. Not really. They're either on or they're off. As you can see, as I start to increase the control, they tend to come on full. Looks maybe they get a little bit brighter when you turn them up. I'll turn off the overhead lighting and fire in some lighting from the side. Now this is where the other lens hood might come in better for this because uh, this one's quite big. You can't quite get the lights in there, but you get the idea. Lighting from a different angle can reveal things that you don't see lighting straight on like along the edge of the chip. You can see where the registers are, where the chip interface is right along the edge of that chip there. Those are not visible. I guess they are. Just look different. They look totally different when the lighting from over top is on as opposed to lighting from the side. dust. I'm quite impressed with the quality. It actually does a better recording than my other one that I've got. And this records as a movie file. Uh, even though the instructions say it's AVI, it's actually a movie file it records. It's not bad. You can see the bond wires. This is you know, relatively small, this chip. Another thing that these inspection scopes are good for is if you need to do some micro soldering just, just to see what you're doing. You can get a close-up of your work area for resoldering chips or soldering in chips. In this case, you don't need it quite as close, so you bring the, the, uh, the microscope up a little bit so you can get a good shot of your workspace. Now, these are certainly not as good as a stereoscopic proper micro solder station because you don't see depth of field when you're working on something like this, but at least it makes it easier to see what you're doing when you're resoldering small chips. I'll do a demonstration on this. I'm just going to grab a, an iron with a small tip and we'll do a demo on reflowing this chip and I'll record it on the SD card so that we can take a look at it. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, try to reflow this chip. I might not have much luck. This has got a conformal coating on it which is going to probably make things difficult but you get the general idea. We can see what we're doing. I can focus the, the camera in here and then I can see what I'm doing resoldering down some of these very very fine chips. The smell in here is so bad from this conformal coating just burning off of here. It just stinks. I don't know what it is, but man, it stinks.
what I should do is take the chip off with the air station and put it back on with the iron, but this is just a demo of a soldering of a microscope, not soldering in general. Okay, there you have it. I think that's uh, probably going to show off this little microscope as uh, well as I think I can show it off. They are hobby units. Oh, the battery needs to be charged for the lights. Off the plug goes in. Same as this. I've got it plugged into power now. Um, but yeah, these units are, are really for the hobbyist. Expecting your uh, stylus for your turntable, for example, or doing some solder work. They can certainly help you solder some of these really small connections when you're doing it with a conventional iron. They get the job done. They're certainly not at the same level as a professional stereoscopic microscope, but they do get the job done for smaller projects. Obviously, you're, you're stuck with a, a small work area here. Where some of the bigger stations you can work on larger boards, but for smaller circuit boards, stuff like this, you can certainly do the work under one of these. And you can certainly inspect for bad connections and so forth. Check part numbers, etc. Makes seeing this stuff very easy. You can see here how reflective the board is. If I put the other lens adapter on, it will eliminate that reflectivity. But again, it also would make it much harder to try to solder the board because it's in the way. It's quite large. But it does provide better lighting, more indirect lighting that will reduce the glare on the circuit board that you're working on or whatever you're inspecting and again if you don't need the high magnification you can bring it up a bit higher and still see probably good enough see what you're doing anyway link is in the description came from banggood thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one bye